Hello everyone, my name is Emily Hollingstead and I am the Director of Sales here at LifeWave. And today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how do you receive commissions that you've earned for sharing LifeWave. We all want to be able to receive the money that we've earned for the hard work that we've done. And today we're gonna to talk through the steps that are required to set up a LifeWave pay portal account so you can receive those commissions. So when you become a LifeWave distributor, you can request a pay portal account, which allows you to receive the commissions that you have earned. In order to do this, you have to officially request this account creation, and you do so by emailing customer service at lifewave.com. Now we recommend that within the subject line of that email, you include some important information that will help our customer service and commissions agents be able to quickly note or notice your email to identify it as someone who needs assistance in creating their pay portal account. So within that subject line, we request that you include your LifeWave ID, your last name and first name, as well as the line request pay portal account. Again, that will help us to quickly identify your email as one of priority. Included in your email, you need to make sure that we receive all of this pertinent information that's listed on the screen. Attached to the email, a government issued ID will need a clear image of the front and back of that ID. And for those distributors that are located in the United States, a fully completed and signed W-9 form will be required. So make sure you attach those things to the email when you send to customer service. Now, in the body of the email, we ask that you also include information that was included in the subject line, so your full legal name. It must match your name on your LifeWave account as well as your government-issued ID. Please also include your LifeWave ID number. And then we'll also need to know the email address that you would like for us to utilize for your pay portal account. Now, each pay portal account has a unique identifier, which means when we're setting up that account, it has to be something that no other person has. So if perhaps you're a distributor that's helping your downline to create their pay portal account, we'll need to use a different email address than the one that you've used for your own pay portal account. Now, something to also consider, when we're verifying the information that you've sent here in this email as part of our process to set up that pay portal, we will match the email address requested for the pay portal account with the email address on the LifeWave account. So we need to make sure those match. So again, each pay portal account has to have a unique email. So make sure that that email matches the LifeWave account and is unique to that individual. Very, very important. Now I mentioned within the United States, there's an additional piece that's required. So for US distributors, you must also send, in addition to your government issued ID, front and back image, you also have to include a fully completed W-9 form, either as an individual or as a business. Now you can see here on the screen, these are examples of a fully completed uh, W-9 form for both of those types of individuals. So on the left, you can see for individual payout, look at all the things that are listed here in the blue font. Those are the areas that you need to include. It's also very important that in part one, as you'll see that you list your social security number, sign and date. Now for a business, again, look at all of the blue that's added here. And these are the areas that you would need to put the information about the business that you are having your commissions be paid through. And if you'll notice in part one, it also is required that you include the employer ID number. That's gonna be really important. And the signatures as well. Now those signatures will need to also match the signatures on your ID. So make sure those things are all in alignment before you send in the request to customer service. Okay, so what's next? You've, you've sent the email to customer service, you've included the government issued ID, front and back sides image of that, you've included a W-9, you've given us all the pertinent information, including that unique email address. So what's next? Well, what happens after that is the LifeWave staff members will verify and compare your personal information um, with your LifeWave account details. So all the information you provided in your email will be verified against your LifeWave account. So the legal ID, um, the name on your legal ID needs to match with the account name and the email address needs to match the account as well. So make sure that those are 
are matching. And then when the LifeWave staff takes a look at that, won't see any issues. Now, the thing is, if everything is verifiable, if it's readable and it matches, so those three things must happen, then LifeWave will set up a pay portal account for that member. That's very important. Once that's happened, the member will receive an activation email from LifeWave's provider to complete the setup of the request for the pay portal account. So make sure you're looking through your email and, and look for that email that will be specifically designed to help you finish activating your pay portal account. Very important. So you'll need to complete the setup of your pay portal account through that activation link within that email. So that email will be coming from, as you can see here on the screen, notifications at lifewavecashcard.com. So look for an email from that email address. Now within the email, there'll be an activation link, but that link does expire after 24 hours. So you're going to want to activate that account as quickly as possible after receiving the notice of activation. So complete setting up your pay portal account by clicking on the activation link within the email. The link will direct you to the pay portal website and prompt account setup with different questions and security details. So what's next? So once account has been fully set up and activated, an email confirming that account activation will be sent to the member, again, upon completion of the account setup, adding the security questions, um, which again, can be accessed through that activation link that will be emailed to the member. At that point, a member can utilize their pay portal account to receive commissions and then transfer to their own bank account. Members can request a LifeWave Visa cash card. This can be used with all major retailers where a Visa is accepted, and that is a benefit of being a LifeWave member. Now, to request that LifeWave Visa cash card, navigate to lifewavecashcard.com and complete the required online forms. But that can only be done once your pay portal account is fully set up. So make sure you follow those steps first so that before you request that cash card. Now, there are a few things to make you aware of. A member can request a pay portal account as soon as they enroll. There is no waiting. Um, this is suggested though, because commissions will be transferred to your account automatically when they become available and are earned. So it's, it's important that we get people set up as quickly as possible upon enrolling. So you can start having those in your group, earning those commissions, receiving those commissions after they've earned them, as what I meant to say, and that way they can stay excited about everything that they're doing. Now, if a member waits to set up their pay portal account until after they earn commissions, some additional time for funds to be transferred can occur. And this can actually take up to three weeks. So again, we definitely recommend that when you bring new people into the business, you get them set up as quickly as possible. Another important thing to note, a LifeWave Visa cash card can take up to six weeks to process and be received by the member. Uh, a cash card cannot be requested until commissions are earned and the pay portal account is fully set up. So important to, to note that. So we are just so happy that we have a way in which we can easily pay commissions to you for all the hard work that you've done and those in your group have done as well. We hope that by following these steps and getting your pay portal account set up right away, that you'll be able to hit the ground running, start earning commissions and start enjoying the benefits of being a distributor. Have a wonderful day. Activate your pay portal. Congratulations on becoming a life changer. Your next step is activating your pay portal. You will receive an email from HyperWallet, a user-friendly payment platform to get your preferred payout method set up. During this process, you are required to provide additional information and verify your account details. You will create your pay portal password and set security questions. Please review HyperWallet's legal arrangements before continuing. Once you confirm, you will be redirected to a new page within HyperWallet to consent for their services. Review your tax identification information that is populated and make sure this information is accurate before submitting. HyperWallet will instant verify your taxpayer information. 
Once you are successfully verified, you can continue on setting up your transfer method. You can request a branded TLC card from HyperWallet to be mailed to you. For requirements and fees, please click on Request a Card. To select a different method, you will select Add Transfer Method. Depending on your country, you will be provided with all transfer methods available for you. A few of these options include Direct Deposit, PayPal, Venmo, Check, or MoneyGram. You can change your transfer method at any time through your HyperWallet Pay Portal.